locked. I shouldn't have encouraged Lin to take part in the contest. And maybe I wouldn't have almost lost an arm. What was going through your head, Lin? He's sleeping. I'll have to be as quiet as possible.
Shit! I missed it by a second. Wait, what's that? Maybe they left a voicemail. Therefore, Lynn was right. They found me and brought me here for a specific reason. Ashman knew! Ashman? Hi, Stefano, it's me, Ariana. I know it was you earlier. I know it was you all those other times. I beg you, stop tormenting us. I beg you, please, stop. Yes, it's true, I did love you once. But so much time has passed, too much time. It couldn't work, and it didn't. I am a married woman now, whether you like it or not, so get over it. And as for Richard, despite not having a choice, I stayed by his side when he endured all that shit that you put him through. Let us deal with our pain. Forget about us. Forget about me. Have some respect for us, a godforsaken couple who will never see their little girl ever again. I wish she could understand. Leave us be. Jesus! The Ashmans. I wonder if they were aware of all the abuses caused by their son to his little sister. Mom! Dad! Is this what you were looking for? <gasps> Mr. Ashman, please, lower that gun! I don't want to hurt you. It's not my intention. Why won't you let me go, then? I have no choice, Celeste! I am not Celeste! Quit the act! You're the only one who can stop it! Please, Mr. Ashman, I beg of you, let me go! You're exactly the same as your slutty mother! That disgusting bitch! The Noxel made her lose her mind! She had to get in the way! I loved Ariana! Why did she keep this apart? Mr. Ashman? She had to be shown who was the real man! Did she not learn her lesson when I fucked her?! The fire extinguisher! Maybe I can use my advantage!
Ronchia, the most fascinating creature on the planet. It can communicate with others of its kind, even from great distances. Imagine if we could create a bridge between the human mnemonic apparatus and the communicative system of those beings, with rapid impulses and synapses. A transmission of images without the use of senses. That would be telepathy, miss. But most insects need a leader to guide them. Take bees, for example. They have a queen to guide them. Very good. That's what the hypnosis was for. During the hypnosis, the metronome is only a tool. The ticking is interpreted as a gentle flapping of the wings. But the real queen bee, or should I say Mother Acarantia, was... Whoever was hypnotizing others. Bingo. And he would have had complete control over them. The phenoxyl was able to fill in substantial memory gaps, formed by the removal of a particular event, such as traumas from one's memory. But why Celeste, then? That damned mother of hers, who was making regular use of phenoxyl during her pregnancy, managed to pass on to her an extraordinary gift, a special power. Do you not understand, Reed? Celeste was born a queen bee. Hang her. She's all yours. Do what you want. Young lady, did your mother tell you that you were born because I fucked her? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> it was never enough for that fucking whore. The hypnosis, the drugs, her daddy's money, and the company. No. She stole from me the woman I loved. And if that wasn't enough, she stained my family's name. And what about you? Wasn't fucking your sister enough for you? Don't you dare talk about Gloria that way! You're a fucking monster! Admit it! They kept her isolated, far away from anyone, just so that she couldn't spill all of your dirty family secrets! You don't know shit! And when it all started to resurface, you decided it was time to shut them up! Maybe by lighting it all up- SHUT UP! <gasps> it's the most idiotic story I've ever heard. Did your dearest father tell you that in reality he was a woman? That- he married the woman that I loved just to keep up the act. That, at just ten years of age, his father stuffed him with meds? You weren't adopted! You best convince yourself that Felton is your biological mother! Give up! There's nothing you can do! <laughs> Or else, you might die frozen. I know you can hear me. You can do it. Concentrate. Release what you are holding inside of you. You are a Mother Acherontia. The moths are listening to you. What you have is not an illness. It's a gift. A gift. Use it. You can do it.
I did it! I did it! I can't believe I did it! I have to leave at once. Sir, Quickly it's do. coming from the cold room. I think the lights went out. They're coming! Sir, the girl. I can't find her. from now on. The Red Nuns were used as lab rats, and then burned alive to bury the evidence. We can't. We can't leave!
fooled themselves into believing that she could have helped us. Oh, Elisa is the chef. Are you having fun? I want to get away from here. Control me. They mustn't find me. Not you too, Elisa. Not you too. There must be some sort of exit from this restaurant. I knew it. The balcony. They heard me. It's all her fault! It wasn't supposed to end like this!
filthy dog. What do you want now? Be quiet. Shut your mouth. Oh no. No. It's not the parasite. There's no time now. I want to get away from this place! Okay, I can help you escape, but you have to help me with something first. Jennifer, you have to trust me. I know what you are capable of, like what you did in the cold room. That voice, was that you earlier on? I can feel what you are holding inside, and I know that you can hear me. Listen up, there's a dumbwaiter in the utility room on the balcony. I know how to find the key, but you have to guide me. Guide you? And how would I do that? Exactly how I did with you earlier. I guided you to use your gift, allowing you to escape. Stay here. I'll go ahead. Concentrate. Look inside yourself. Okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go-ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and come meet me. Stay with me. Don't leave me. Shit, she's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. Should be a key somewhere. Ashman usually hides it here. Where the fuck is it? God damn it, I can't get to it. Can you manage to see a small key up there? Oh, fuck. No, she heard me. Oh god, I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? Haven't you? Well, not all of them died. Gloria Ashman. 
Jennifer, you have to help us, I beg you. We are trapped in a hypnotic loop. As soon as the loudspeaker starts ticking, our minds go back into a limbo. I... 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 I, I don't understand. What can I possibly do? That... that thing lives down there. It has no effect on you. You can end the loop. There is much time left. I beg you, please. It's in my head. I can't get out of the loop. Try to be so close when the night was fast, you and me, as long as you see, a lonely heart doesn't mean so be close. close when the night was fast, you and me. Oh dear, I... Uh... Sorry, I thought I was alone. No, please, continue. I prefer not to, really. I'm... I'm Jennifer, by the way. Lindsay? But call me Lynn. I'm sorry for earlier on. Don't worry about it. I was too intrusive. And I extremely rude. Oh, well, truce? <laughs> Truth. <laughs> what were you doing here? I was just singing. I usually play the violin, but they locked it away as soon as I got here. <laughs> if you can play the violin even as half as well as you can sing, then you're a fucking master. <laughs> Nothing special. You got a great voice. And that song. Did you write it? I'm still working on it. I got an idea. There's a festival for artists with original songs. The winner gets a full scholarship at the conservatory. Here, look. The performance will take place in a theater. I say you should go for it. No, no. There's no way I would ever be capable of something like that. Why did you say that? First off, we're stuck here. Second, singing and playing the violin at the same time is too complicated. I, I could never do it on my own. I could do it with you! I play the piano! Listen, we can do this! I don't know, Jen. I don't know. And how would we even get there? We can talk to Ashwin about it. Yeah, dream on. <laughs> it's only two weeks away. We can work on it together. All we need is a music sheet and a bit of practice. I know the piano so well that it's basically a part of me. But the lyrics are nowhere near finished. My father used to tell me that nothing, not even time, can get in the way of something you truly desire. Where are you from? <laughs> it's not a nice story.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! Abdul Jabbar? Have you ever tried one? Sure, why not? Fuck it. <laughs> when the smoke is about to enter your throat, you exhale. For a movie. Seriously? You bet. Before saying goodbye, it was a great hit in the 60s. Have you never heard of it? No. My parents brought me to the cinema to see it. As soon as we got home, my father taught me how to play the theme song on the piano. <laughs> Would you like it if we were to watch it together one day? You bet. of an old hospital, or something similar. Old x-rays. Something switched on.
Never lie.